I made a camera from scratch. Mm, sort of. And it's fully 3D printed. Also sort of. Before we get into it, here's a few sample photos that this camera did make. Okay, so real quick, how did I get here? I own a bunch of early medium format folding cameras. Like, look at this one. It's a Kodak 3A Autographic Special from 1919, which is actually the first camera with a coupled rangefinder, and it works great. So yeah, that's a pretty neat tangent. Anyway, I love medium format folders because they're fairly simple, you can repair them, and they're also super portable for the size and quality of negative they make. They're great. And I also had this, a Jolly Look cardboard Instax camera that I backed on Kickstarter years ago. Part of this kit is the Jolly Look mini film development unit, which handles all the film ejection picker arm roller stuff. Okay, so the original plan was to just take the lens unit off of an old folding camera and then just 3D print a new body which would interface with the Jolly Look unit. And that would be it. I actually started making it and even tested 3D printing bellows. But I couldn't really find a cheap, broken, old folding camera that I was comfortable taking the lens from. So then I started thinking, what if I don't cannibalize an old camera? The more parts I can design and print, the more replicable the whole thing is anyway. And for the things that can't be printed, they should be as off the shelf, cheap, and easy to acquire as possible. Okay, so there are limits to how small and miniature you can make FDM printed parts before they're too weak and delicate, or they just don't print at all. And for camera parts, there are limits to how thin you can make parts before they're no longer light tight, even when printing with black plastic. I knew a folding camera would be difficult, so I decided to simplify by making something more like a box camera, like this. Box cameras are much simpler than folding cameras. It's just a light proof box with the lens in the front and the film in the back. So this was my first version, the Jankstax Zero, which is a bit larger and more misshapen than I'd wanted. It features a shutter, but no diaphragm, so it is pretty difficult to get a good exposure unless you're at the right place at the right time. But I was able to take this photo, so at least I knew it worked. But I definitely needed more exposure control, so I redesigned the lens assembly to include a diaphragm. And here's the second version, the Jankstax 1, which is more compact and symmetrical, which is good, and has both a shutter and diaphragm, which is also good. Okay, so what parts did I make, and then what else is in this thing? Well, let's take it apart and look at all the stuff. Here's the back of the camera, which is in two parts to allow the Jolly Look unit to slot in, and it just uses a couple of screws to keep everything together. The middle bit is basically just empty space, like it is in a box camera. There are some nuts to hold onto the front of the camera, but that's pretty much it. And here's the front with the lens, diaphragm, and shutter. The shutter was based on this design I found, which I enlarged and adapted for my needs. It uses two springs, one that powers the shutter mechanism, and one that just returns the little latch to its position. Moving on to the diaphragm, I knew an iris design would be too complicated to make small enough using 3D printing, so I went with a simpler two-leaf window or guillotine design. The diaphragm is adjusted with the knob on top of the camera and has a range from this open to this closed. I, I mean, I haven't measured anything, so getting a proper exposure is a bit of guesswork, but you know, you get a feeling for it, it's not that bad. Some people have experimented with 3D printing lenses, but I don't really want to get into any of that, so this is just a simple glass lens you can get on Amazon for a few bucks. Obviously this is not a proper camera lens, which explains why the images are so soft on the edges and have all kinds of optical abnormalities. But that's the fun of it. Or something. And that's everything, really. Aside from the Jolly Look unit, the camera uses the glass lens, 5M3 and 4M2 screws and nuts, and a couple of springs. Everything else is just printed in red or black PLA+. So, will there be a Jankstax 2? I don't know, I'm not sure. There is lots of room for improvement. Off the top of my head, designing a way to open the camera without needing a screwdriver would be pretty good. Also, a fully 3D printed Instax setup instead of using the Jolly Look would be cool and would make it much more replicable and cheaper to make. And adding focus adjustment would make it a much more useful camera. It could also probably come up with some sort of electronic shutter mechanism using an Arduino. That would allow for a lot of shutter speeds. Or maybe improving the optics? Or maybe this is actually a good place to stop on this project and move on to the next one. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you want to make a Jankstax, the files and links to all the other materials are available in the description. And let me know if you do and how it turns out. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.